Hello, this is Bruce with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Anatoly Marinov came up with on how to export SharePoint web parts that normally hide the option. Anatoly agreed to let us create this video showing a solution which is available as an article on his blog at the URL shown here. My SharePoint site, I've created a web part page and I've added a pair of web parts to demonstrate the problem that Anatoly has a solution for. And on this web page, I've got a list view web parts, which you can see there in the middle, and that's this favorite cars web part, and it's just attached to a favorite cars list that I have in the site and displaying uh, the data from that list. If I scroll down, I just added an Excel web part just to give a contrast between the two web parts. To export the web part, all I have to do is click the little arrow that's in the upper right hand corner of the web part and you can see that I've got an option there to export. And if I click that option, it uh, saves the file into my downloads folder. If I open the folder, we can see that the web part has been saved. But switching back to the browser, if I try to do the same thing, I'll scroll up and I try to do the same thing for the list view web part, we notice that the option to export uh, isn't there. To successfully get this list view web part to export, what I can do is manually pass the GUID ID, which is a unique ID that's assigned to the web part when it's added to the page, and the page that it exists on. I can pass it to a hidden uh, web page that SharePoint provides. And this is actually the same web page that's used when I do a normal export. Uh, so I, I don't have the export option in the drop-down menu, but I can manually feed the URL in my browser. All I need is the good ID of the web part. And to discover the good ID of the web part, I'm going to stop editing the page. And then I'm going to use my browser's F12 key and opens up this uh, developer dashboard. And then from the developer dashboard, I've got a little select element down there in the dashboard that will let me select the section. And what I want to do is select something that's on the web part to get me to the section in the web page that the web part exists in. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit, use that select element, and I'll just highlight, see if I can grab it. There we go, the web part. Inside the web part code, I can see that there's a web part ID and this represents my, again, my GUID on my web part. And what I need to do is extract that uh, GUID or copy that GUID. I can just copy it into my clipboard and then I can use it in a browser URL to paste it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close, press my F12 key to close my developer dashboard. And then I'm gonna manually enter uh, my web part page. So I need to feed it the GUID ID and the path to my actual site or to the path to the page that the web part exists on. Uh, but the path that I need to pass it into is, I'm gonna copy it from, uh, from a clipboard. I'm gonna pin it to the front of this. The path I put in here, the main page that I'm after, I still need to do some editing to this URL. But the main page I'm after is that export WP ASPX page and I can find it in this virtual directory, this underscore VTI underscore bin that every SharePoint site uh, will have a path to that they can use. But then I also need to feed it the URL of the page. So I need to add here at the end a question mark and then the page URL is the variable or is the uh, parameter that I'm gonna feed that URL into. So I'll just set it equal to the path to my site. But then the GUID ID has to be appended to the end of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my insertion point to the end of my page. And then I've already got it copied in my clipboard. I'm gonna paste it on. So we can see that I've added this and GUID ID and then the GUID ID that I copied from my developer dashboard when I was editing the page. And if I got everything in there correctly, I can go ahead and hit the return key. And we can see down here at the bottom that my browser has told me that it's finished downloading. My web part, if I open up my folder, I can see that 
there it is. There's the web part for uh, my LizView web part, which again, doesn't show or doesn't display the export option, but using this little trick, we can go ahead and export any web part, even if it doesn't uh, offer that option naturally. Thanks again to Anatoly Marinov for the inspiration for this video. You can find more articles by Anatoly at his blog at the address shown here. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.